Now it's time for pre-op. Upon arrival in the surgery center, go to the patient check-in window, where a team member will verify insurance information, identification, and your surgery. We will also ask if you have a written durable power of attorney for health care. If you have copies, please bring them with you on the day of surgery. A patient care technician will bring you back to our pre-op area, first by yourself for perhaps 15 minutes. We will obtain weight, height, and vital signs. Family can wait in our comfortable pre-op lounge and will be called back as soon as possible. Volunteers are available to respond to questions. Visitation in the pre-surgery area is limited to one or two adult visitors. We restrict visitors under age 12 for our safety and theirs. Once in your pre-op room, you will change into a patient care gown. Here at Sparrow, we are happy to use a warming gown for your comfort while you are waiting. The warming gown will stay with you throughout surgery until you are discharged or until you go to a floor. At this point, you will meet the next team member, your registered nurse, and he or she will continue the process of getting you ready for surgery. If applicable, they may ask you to mark the area where you're having surgery with a big S. The physician will confirm the correct area with his or her initials. This time frame can vary depending on the surgery you are having and depending on the necessary preparation work needed for each person. Throughout your stay, you will be asked many times for your name and birth date. These are two identifiers that we use to keep you safe. The nurse will review your history, including allergies and medications for completeness. We will review paperwork and have you sign consent for surgery and start an IV. One or two family members will be invited back to be with you while you wait. Other members of the team will stop in and discuss the plan of care for the day. These members include your surgeon, your anesthesia provider, including an anesthesiologist and nurse anesthetist, and your OR nurse. If you require a nerve block or special IV access, you may be taken to another room. The team will keep you and family informed if this needs to occur. Once you have met all members of the team, we will be ready to back into the surgical area. Prior to leaving the pre-op area, we will do one final safety verification that involves you and is done each and every time we take someone to surgery in an effort to maintain the highest level of safety for our patients.